YouTube, welcome back, JDS Outdoors. Here we have the next project. May look a little rough around the edges. It may be missing a motor, but she's got solid bones. This is a 1982 Easy Go golf cart. Got the top on it. Kind of missing the top though. But it's a start. Nice, beautiful color. Body's in pretty decent shape. <clears throat> Should uh, paint up real nice, I would think. Got part of a windshield. Probably throw that away. I don't know. Wiring's kind of a mess. Something I've always wanted to do with a golf cart, especially a, a cheap one. We're going to jack it up a little bit. We're going to put a little bit of a bigger engine in it. Make it go a little faster. And I think with this one, we're going to make it four-wheel drive. I've had the idea for a while to put a uh, four-wheeler engine and drivetrain in it however we're not going to cut apart the old rancher here she's too pretty we're going to take this ugly son of a gun here we're going to cut it apart a little bit do a little bit of welding and transplant that into that hopefully so i'll be making a few videos on uh, my progress with the redneck side by side whatever you want to call it but I'm gonna build this uh, build this golf cart up make it kind of cool so I'm gonna start ripping some stuff out of here cleaning it up show the progress at the end of the day put up this video so you guys can see it with what all we've gotten done on this picked up this four-wheeler pretty cheap I uh, didn't have any plastics or anything on it but uh, it does run there's no battery batteries missing but uh, one pull here Give a little more choke Runs. So that's a start. Good start, I would think. At least, uh, at least this runs because <laughs> the golf cart doesn't have an engine in it. But, anyways, I'm gonna start ripping some stuff out of here. See what we're working with exactly, and. Uh, Check back in. Well, here we have the end for tonight. So in that belt drive area, when I picked this up, it had uh, a mouse nest in there. Tore that apart, cleaned out all the mouse piss and fun stuff. And there's two dead mice in there, so I pulled them out to clean the aluminum because that uh, mouse piss kind of it's kind of hard on stuff. Went and drove it around a little bit. Pretty sure it needs a, a carb clean. Or maybe just fresh gas. We're going to try fresh gas first. See if that helps. Kind of bogs when you give it a bunch of throttle. But it's a heck of a start. To the golf cart. Got the whole back end tore apart. It's almost, uh, almost time to clean it up here. Start cutting. Figure out exactly where everything's going to mount. But, should be kind of cool. So we get, uh, let's get going on it. Got all that extra wiring crap tore out of there. And there's the rear end. So I think I'm going to call this the uh, redneck side-by-side, -side, I think. We'll start with that. See where it goes. But the plan is to uh, paint this up, make it look pretty. 
jack it up obviously, make it four wheel drive, do some body work, there's a little ding right there. Overall, pretty good shape body wise. And uh, let's make it cool. A little cruiser for around town here. So uh, feel free to follow this if you want to. I'm pretty sure I'm done with my flood videos. We didn't get as much snow as they thought we were going to get, which is good. Only got eight inches. So made me happy. But that's it for this one. As always, thanks for watching.